Second race here at Kempton, it's the Betfred Queen's Prize. It's a two-mile handicap for horses rated between 0 and 85. So not exactly any showstoppers here, but a good race in store nonetheless. We've got Yer Noir, Alex Cherry, Epic Amigo, Alex Ince, Highland Gala, Martin Leadham, December Meza, James Shea, Red Law, Alex Cherry, Stella Brilliant, Obi-Wan, Chapter Blends, the 2-1 to favourite for Ryan Costello, and Infinity for Obi-Wan completes your lineup of eight for this Betfred Queen's Prize. Stalls are open and away they go, and Red Law gets out really quickly and out into an early lead on the rail, but December Mesa moves up quite quickly in between that one and Highland Gala to take the lead, but there's a long way to go here, so no real advantage of being drawn low. As you can see, Highland Gala's racing a little bit freely there in second place alongside Epic Amigo. Two Alex Cherry runners towards the rear of the field at the moment, Yer yeah, Noir and Red Law. This December Meza is out in front and setting a pretty decent pace early on. About a length and a half back to Epic Amigo. And then we've got the favourite there in third, the Purple Silks for Ryan Costello there. That's Chapter Blend. Widest of all at the moment is Infinity. And uh, we've got Stella Brilliant running in very similar silks for Obi-Wan up towards the rail. That one's just tracking in behind Highland Gala for my fellow commentator Martin Leadham. So the back marker at the moment is Red Law. And that one's probably about 10 to 12 lengths behind the leader. That is still ah, December Meza as we come towards the 11 and a half furlong marker. So all of them travelling pretty, pretty well at the moment. And there is a long way to go here. So December Meza is just... Travelling nicely in front, as I said, setting a pretty decent gallop, but the horses in behind are just happy to sit in off this pace at the moment. And that Epi Highland Gala and Epic Amigo are the ones that are running side by side in second and third at the moment as they come to what will be the final furlong in a circuit's time. So you can see that they're coming past the stands there. You can see those lovely fences in the background. That's going to be the last fence in the King George once we get towards Christmas time, some really exciting races to happen here at Kempton Park over the next couple of weeks. You can see some quite a few race goers here for these four or five races I'm bringing you on the all-weather at Kempton Park. So it's December Mazer in the lead as they're turning right-handed here and going to head out towards the back straight. And uh, it's been closing up now in behind there the lead from uh, December Mesa and it's Highland Gala and Epic Amigo who have been in second and third for a while now have just moved up to join their closer quarters in behind December Mesa but you can see the jockey on that one responding by just booting on here and trying to open up a bit of a lead and going to start stretching them out in the back straight here and you can see towards the rear of the field Infinity and Stella Brilliant the jockey's having to get to work on those perhaps being a touch out pace but also the jockey recognises they're going to have to start to close this gap because once they swing off that final bend here at Kempton Park, it can often be hard to rein in the leader. And you can see Chapter Blend is one that's moving up smoothly. The 2-1 to one favour for Ryan Costello has moved up, made some smooth progress to pass Highland Gala and Epic Amigo. And Red Law's one that's going the long way around, but is making some good progress as they come towards the three furlong marker now. December Mays has opened up a pretty decent lead of about four lengths over the rest here. And Red Law and Chapter Blend, Highland Gala, jockeys are hard at work on all of them. In behind trying to make some progress now two furlongs left to go turning right handed here and coming into the home straight and it's Highland Gala that bursts out of the pack to come up alongside December Mazer and is about to join him as we come in the final one and a half furlongs did the leader go off too soon it certainly looks that way as Highland Gala's passed it pretty easily inside the final furlong Red Law and Epic Amigo trying to get going the favourites not getting involved here chapter blend into the final half of furlong it's Highland Law trying it's going to need the line as Red Law comes up on the outside and ooh it's a Yep, I think Red Law might have got that. I'm going to need the photo finish, the photo finish to confirm. But I think Highland Gala just got a little tired out in front. Maybe hit the front too soon for Martin Leading. Red Law came down the middle of the track and yeah, just picked him off. Highland Gala hung on for second and Epic Amigo actually went off favourite in the end. Not Chapter Blend, a big drifter in the market just before the off. And the gamble on Epic Amigo didn't pay off. But uh, did run on the third for uh, Alex in. Stella Brilliant back and forth for Obi Wan. And December Mezzi, a long time leader, faded out big time. Must have gone off too soon. Finished fifth for James Shea.